So, Paul Oaks, before we get into it, we are going to look ahead to Hertha Berlin and Salford City on Saturday. But just before we do, uh, you know, you're back with us again as the keeper coach for this season. Yep, and absolutely delighted to be as well. So, um, fantastic season last year for Sam. Team of the year, least goals conceded in the league. Um, so, really excited again for another season with Sam and obviously Tom as well. Pleasure to work with. And how have you found the last two seasons that you have been here? Um, the first one a little bit tricky because obviously we were still in the COVID, there were no supporters in the ground and it was a little bit different. So yeah, just finding defeat there and then last year was the one where it was, um, yeah, just fans backing obviously makes things a million times better. Um, and loved it last year, loved both seasons to be honest, but last year especially, um, getting into the top four was, was good, but obviously we always want to do better than that. So um, yeah, excited for my third season with the club. And for you, Paul, I know when Pete Wilde did leave, yeah. um, you know, there was a bit of uncertainty on who'd be staying, who'd be going, who'd yeah. be following him, that kind of thing. For you, what was that like? Was it always a case of wanting to stay at Halifax? Yeah, I've always, I just, it's, it's just it's a fantastic club to work with, uh, to work for, sorry. Um, it's, it's, every day is a pleasure and working under Millie as well is an absolute no-brainer. So obviously I've had two years with him. So when he said, look, can you stay? No brain, I didn't even need to think about it. So, um, yeah, there we go. And now, just moving on to Saturday, um, have you ever had this? I know you're a massive football manager fan. Have you ever <laughs> had something like this in football manager, but Halifax Town versus Hertha Berlin of the Bundesliga? Um, no, not even, <laughs> yeah, not even on a computer game, but yeah, very, very. Um, when we first got the message, like, are you sure? And it's definitely Hertha Berlin. Um, but, you know, great to be involved with you know someone that that club of that stature to then ask us to come and play them at st george's park as well which is a fantastic venue to play football it's um i can't, I can't wait for saturday yeah we'll see what happens and how how are you and, and the sort of keepers prepping for a game like that against her for berlin for berlin um maybe fair to say they could be busy <laughs> um but again we always see it as excitement it's not it's not something that we're afraid of, so it's a challenge. And again, coming up against a different type of football inside, um, it'd be, and excited yet yeah, to pick your wits against, you know, a Bundesliga side. So yeah, excited more than anything. Bundesliga side and a League Two side as well. Obviously, yeah. a football league side in Salford City, who will be facing as well. I think 45 minutes on the day yeah. two. Um, sort of thoughts on that? Yeah, so Salford probably completely different challenge. Um, you know, we're all at different stages as well in our pre-season. So again, going back to what we said about Hertha Berlin and Salford, it's, it's just exciting more than anything. So. What's it going to be like sort of working at St George's Park? Have you, have you done that before? Is that I've something? been there many yeah. times on oh, courses and um, different goalkeeping events. So yeah, lovely place, um, different sort of pitches. Even, even got a goalkeeping area that's absolutely immaculate. So uh, training, playing on a bowling green, and then, you know, where you can eat after. Um, the restaurant's very nice as well, so make sure you're getting in there, Rowan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, to be invited down there, it's, it's going to be a very, very good day. And it's good for the players, it's good for the staff, and it's just somewhat slightly different. And of course, we're travelling down, we're not sort of staying over, but no. when the lads do stay over in the season, is the quiz back, Paul? I, I can. The, the rumours circulating that someone else was maybe coming in and having to go at that, right. but I can quash those rumours. Pogs will be taking the quiz. So <laughs> it's going to be exciting. It's going to be. Um, You've got obviously a few have left this season and a few incoming, so the teams are going to switch around a little. So it'd be interesting to see those first few weeks who's who's performing and who's not. So I'm again keep using the word, but I'm excited for the quiz as well. <laughs> Amazing. Just just lastly then, uh, Paul, it's obviously a bit of a catch up with you. Um, Oldham Athletic are in this league. You're a massive Oldham fan. You yes. Oldham through and through, aren't you? Yes. And if I had to say, you know, if we were to cut you open, you'd you'd bleed. Blue and white, but that's Halifax Sound, not course. not Oldham Athletic. <laughs> but no, having Oldham in the league for you and to in your job, how excited for that are you? Yeah, um, ideally as a fan, yeah. I wouldn't want to be playing when I'm still in League Two and then pushing promotion out of that league. But they are in that league. That is what it is with what's gone on the last few years. But hopefully they're back on the right track. But when Halifax play them and it's Oldham versus Halifax, I've got to be as professional, obviously as I can be, and without a shadow of a doubt, I want three points for Halifax Town. That will not go down well in my house, but it's three points and the clean sheet for Halifax Town, ideally. Amazing. Thank you for your time, Paul. Thanks, awesome. no problem.